crap. I'm late. Oh, I gotta get ready, gotta get ready. Oh, sure. Okay, okay. Oh, it's wrinkled. Do I have time to iron? No, don't have time, don't have time. Okay, get it on, get it on. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, okay. Get on, go, 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 go. Uh, okay, okay. Gotta find my pants, gotta find my pants. Do I have pants? Got shorts. Okay, it's fine. I'll just stay in the back. I'll just stay in the back because it won't be a big deal. Okay. Uh, I gotta get a tie. Gotta get a tie. Okay. Let me check the closet. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, seriously? Okay. I guess it'll work. Uh, do I know how to tie a tie? Do I remember? I watched a video like three months ago. I can probably figure it out. I can probably figure it out. Actually, Dad! Dad, are you home? Dad, I need you to come here and tie this. Please, please, please. I don't think he's home. Okay, okay, I can figure it out. I'll figure it out. Oh, get the button, get the button, get the button. Okay, collar up, right? This side, right? Okay, this side over. No, that's not right. No, hold on. Maybe I'll pull up a t tutorial. According to Wikipedia, only 67% of teenagers know how to tie a tie. And ties are an essential part of looking nice in events. So you'd think that the ability to tie ties would be greater. However, if you look at the most used how-to questions, tying ties is the most commonly searched. So today, I'm going to be explaining to you all the importance of ties and why we wear them and exactly how to tie them. So taking a step back from tying ties, let's look at math. These are going to be a couple of the knots. Oh, that's really bad. A couple of the knots that I'll be showing you. How many of you know this shape? The trapezoid, right? How many of you know this shape? Trick question. Still a trapezoid. These are both the full ones and the half ones of knots. Some of the most common knot tying things when you're using neckties. So today I'm going to be showing you these two knots on not my pink on tie, but on this here gold tie. Now, there's all kinds of different ties. There's wide, thick ties, there's normal ties, and there's even skinny ties. There's different types of materials. There's more of a matte cloth tie, and there's silkier ties. So when do you use different types of ties? What occasions do you wear these ties at? Well, it really depends. It depends on how formal you want to go, how casual you want to look. For a more formal sense, you probably want to wear a more normal size width tie, or you could go even wider. You probably want to stay away from the skinnier, more cloth style ties. And if you want to look more casual, and you could probably even wear shorts an occasion, you could probably wear a cloth and skinny tie. However, with the different types of ties comes different types of knots. So this is where you have to be versatile and know how to tie different types of ties. So to, be, to explain to you all, the first step you want to take in a half winter knot is you want to pop the collar. Uh, well, I guess you want to wear the shirt first, but then you want to pop the collar. Um, then grabbing your tie, you want to make sure that the lengths are proportioned correctly. Because if you don't tie it, you could tie it can be way too long or way too short. You always want to make sure that the fat side of the tie is longer than the skinny side of the tie. If you don't and you start way too short, you'll end up looking like this. So to tie a half length or not, and make sure the proportions are correct. Go around the front. So I can do this. Super. Back around to the front again. Up through. Down. And that first loop you made, go back through it with the tie. And you'll see poorly, but still done. You'll have a half winter knot trapezoid or shape. However, this is not the tie that I really like to associate with when I'm tying my own ties. I really prefer the full ones or not. I think it looks cleaner, looks more sharp, and looks more professional. So to do this tie, again, you want to make sure your proportions are correct. 
However, you want to leave yourself a little more leeway room when tying a full one's knot because you're going to be using more of the length of the tie. So maybe give yourself a little more room. Go again to the front. Bring it, let's see, bring it through. That's not right. Go around the front, back to the front again here, and then bring it back. Okay, once you've done this, you should have a little triangle. This is the first step to tying the double ones or not. Once you've done this, then you again, just like the half ones, are, go around the front, back through the back, and then loop it through. And you have accomplished the trapezoid that you need. Then you want to pull it tight, make sure everything is lined up correctly. For those of you beginners, a great step in trying your tie is getting in front of a mirror. And once you've actually mastered that, then you can become more independent and you don't really need mirrors. And then if your length isn't right, it should come down to your belt buckle. So pretend this is tight, this is tucked in. It should be about right at your belt. But if it's not, you can always take it out and start again. So there's all kinds of ways you can do it um, with that. You can do it with this tie, or I mean, you can go with the skinny tie as well. Uh, but typically, also with the skinny ties, you only will do the half ones or not. So with all of these ties and all the different ways to tie it, you can't exclude the bow tie um, or these other knots. But for, if you want to look professional and you want an easy way to tie a tie, then tying a full Windsor or a half Windsor are go-tos that is quite easy to learn if you take the time. Then you have the people, I'll go back to my gold time. You have the people that once they have their knot, they keep it. And I'm here to explain to you why you should not keep a knot after you're done using it. So say I have my knot, I have this half winter knot and I like this tie and I use it on my occasion. I went to my dinner and then I'm done. So I'm going to take my tie off, but I don't want to take all the way off. I just want to do it like this so then I can hang it on the hook and then come back to it when I need it a couple weeks later. Well, you shouldn't do this. This can leave wrinkles in the tie and also it prevents you from ever taking the chance and the steps to learning to tie a tie on your own. And that's the biggest essential part because if you want to wear a tie, you should be able to say, I tied that. Not rely on your dad, not rely on someone else. Um, but you should be able to tie your own tie. So in conclusion, uh, tying ties are very essential. It's essential to society because if you want to go out and you want to look sharp, you want to look nice, you should be able to say, I tied that. I did this. So tying ties is a great essential part of class and self-sophistication. Thank you.